All of my favorite stories about me from my childhood involve some amount of danger. There are the times when I fell out of a treehouse and then got right back up again. And I think I like these stories so much because these are the moments that made me into the resilient adult that I am today. And I think this is a pretty common narrative. But interestingly, it's not the logic that we use when we are tasked with taking care of some of nature's most valuable babies, endangered wild animals. Take salmon, for instance. When we raise these culturally and economically important fish in captivity, we raise them in very sheltered hatcheries. And then we release them into the wild where they have to deal with real predators that really kill them. I was interested in whether there were developmental experiences that we could give fish that would improve their ability to deal with challenges. To test this, I exposed baby Western mosquito fish to different developmental stresses, basically the fish equivalents of falling out of a treehouse. So I have this red group that I exposed to changing temperatures, this blue group that I exposed to the very scary scent of largemouth bass, the purple group that got bones, and the golden group down at the bottom that wasn't exposed to anything stressful while they were growing up. And then I looked at what effect these experiences had on the fish as adults. And some of the effects are obvious just by looking at them. You can see that my middle two groups, the ones exposed to predators, grew up to be smaller, which is interesting because smaller fish, less appetizing to predators. But I actually cared less about what my fish looked like and more about who they were. Basically, I wanted to give them a BuzzFeed personality quiz, but tailored towards fish. So I took all of my fish and I put them into new safe tanks and looked at their behavior. Interestingly, my, do my group that got bone stressors during development, they were more active during this pulse of safety suggesting that they could gather resources to use for future challenges. But the most interesting thing I found is that exposure to any stressor during development resulted in fish that were more consistent. And this is fascinating because consistency is a general pattern of behavior that helps fish coordinate group behavior and do other anti-predator defenses. It seems like developmental stress is crucial to making a fish behave like a fish. My fish are a great reminder that what doesn't kill you doesn't just make you stronger, it makes you normal. Thank you so much for listening.